Well, hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm Mags. You're watching White Buffalo Divine. We're getting ready to do a reading, a generalized reading. I'm not sure what sign is next. I've got all 12 Zodiac here, aside from the one I just did, which was Sagittarius. So let's see who's next. I don't know. If it resonates, take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't try to force a story if it is not yours. Here we are. Up next, we have Pisces. What up, Pisces? How are you, my darling dear? Thank you for coming by. Alrighty. So, I have already pre-shuffled off of camera, and I will be really wary. I've actually had some allergies, and my eyes are itching really bad, so I really apologize for doing this on camera. That's so gross, but... Okay. Here we go. Pisces. I do have music playing on my laptop in the background, and uh, hopefully you can even hear it. It is a visual of, well here, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see that. Isn't that really nice? So Pisces, with you being a water sign, how fitting, right? And I hit shuffle on this playlist. So this is actually what just came up. So, alrighty. What energy is coming in for Pisces? I am getting two things here. Either there's a relationship that has completely just ended, really heartbreaking and a lot of fighting, or there is a union coming together after a lot of heartbreak and a lot of fighting. Okay, Pisces? So, I feel this literally just occurred within the last three to seven days. Three to seven months, three to seven hours. So, see how my eye keeps itching? There was like a major aggravation factor here. Somebody didn't know how to communicate <clears throat> or they didn't know how to communicate. They do or they do not know how to communicate. Like they do not know now or they didn't back then. If this is a past person, if that makes sense. If this is a current person, they do not know how to communicate. For whatever reason, you have not walked away from the situation. Even if you say you have. I'm calling bullshit. I don't know. This may be your energy. This may be the other person's energy. I don't know. This is weird energy. Get me out of here. Ew. Um, yeah, no. Mm -mm. That was just like, yeah, emperor in reverse. You see what I'm saying? It's like, no. False ass. Yeah. <clears throat> but there's such good things coming in or they're here now. Could you tell I was channeling really heavily right there? Yeah, six of, cu six of cups coming in. Pisces, I will say this, okay? Whatever has happened in the past was really... Oh, it was fucked up. Okay. Can we like talk about this? Like, this is not okay. This is really, really rough. 
Some of you have really healed from it. Others have not at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I mean, I'm starting to have a hard time talking right now. It's like others are, are claiming that they have healed from this and they haven't. And you need to understand that there's, there is opportunity for help. I feel like I'm really, okay, I'm, I'm tying in with two separate sets here. I'm talking to some Pisces. You are really kind of naive. And I think you're just now coming to full circle understanding you've been humbled a little bit in a sense. And there's something here about there's help available to you. And you, you have opportunity to take that help, but yet you're not. Okay, so there's something to that as well. The other group of Pisces that I'm connecting with, you are really doing a great job foundationally rebuilding and healing in a way that is sustainable and also stable. So there's that. Interesting how that just went completely from left to right. <clears throat> what else is coming in for Pisces? Page of Cups. Somebody wants to apologize to you, Pisces. Somebody really uh, feels like an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Queen of Pentacles was in the reverse, though, on that. I feel like this is a family member. This may be a female family member, Pisces, that really upsets you. Maybe in your mother, your grandmother, your aunt, your sister, a cousin. Somebody really upset you. And this may even go back a couple years, Pisces. I don't know. Um, I am hearing by blood, bound by blood. So yes, this is family. I don't know. There's something about that. That may, that apology may come through. See how I just lost control of my, oh, oh, this person's feisty. <clears throat> okay. Uh, there's something and yeah, there's the world. This cycle is closing out. This is a really good thing. This is going to help you heal and move forward, Pisces. But there's something here about someone apologizing to you. I really feel like it's going to be around the holidays, either Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, something like that. Uh, maybe as far out as even your birthday into next year. I no, I'm gonna say it's this year. It's this year. It's closing out. So that's really good energy. I like that that person is taking the initiative to either start communication back up or bring about. Did you hear that? I felt for a second. I don't know if that was caught on camera or not. I felt like something just took control of my computer and then like did a, uh, like an EVP or, uh, yeah, I hope that was caught on camera. That was so weird. And it felt like, it sounded like someone went, uh Oh, that was weird. Yeah. Eight of wands on the bottom of the deck. That was really weird. Ooh, that just kind of gave me a, a thrill or like not even a thrill. That's weird. That gave me a thrill. Did that give you a thrill? I don't know. That was really weird, Pacey's. Okay, keep it moving. What the fuck? I don't know. I heard, I know I heard that. I know I heard that. I hope the camera caught that. Ooh, that was weird. Okay. Pisces, I feel like you have some type of stagnant energy that's really around you with regards to work and your career. Something is stalled. Maybe your energy has stalled out or maybe you're, uh, you haven't got a promotion or an increase in pay or something is stalled out. Um, that energy is going to change moving forward. You're going to come out of that energy. You're going to be feeling, yeah, see what I say? Chariot coming out. That energy is going to change. It's going to move forward. Uh, and it's going to happen quicker than you think it will. I feel like you're really crying about this. Whoa. I'm really connecting with some Pisces that are crying about this work situation. It's, oh, my, my eyes itch and there we go. Yeah. I feel like I'm connecting with Pisces that are really, uh, heartbroken over something at work. I felt like I just saw an orb go by me. I don't know if anyone else saw that or not. Uh, yeah. Lovers in reverse. So this is also known as the choice card here, Pisces. There's something that we also had the two of swords come out. You're choosing to, I feel like this is also, it could be a potential Gemini, but there's something here about you are choosing to withhold communication from somebody at work 
or with regards to a work situation that's really bothering you, you are moving forward. There, you feel, And that has been a very long-standing stagnant energy. Oh, Lord, I feel it. Uh -huh. But here's what's awesome. So what came out with it was Six of Wands and the Ten of, of Cups. So uh, this is complete and utter fulfillment. So what this is, is you getting a new job, you moving on into something brand new. Uh, with regards to your career, this is really going to... Uh, it's such a good feeling. It's such a good feeling. So stay up, stay hopeful. I feel that energy moving very, very quickly here. So let's switch to another deck. See what else is coming in for Pisces. <clears throat> I just heard the name Brandon. I don't know if you're, you're dealing with a Brandon. Connecting with some Pisces who have not felt uh, very uh, confident in themselves physically or like there's a lack of confidence. You've been beating yourself up about how how you appear physically. Uh, and a lot of it's just due to stress outside of, of like everyday stress with your job or um Stress with your family, stress with, you know, it, there's other things that are making you feel that way that you're not maybe realizing. Yeah, you are really in your head about it. What is going on, Pisces? Stop. Stop. Where's the camera? <laughs> it's, it's closing out. Good things are coming in. Tell me more. You also may be dealing with a fire sign. And you are not in a good mood with this fire sign or there's concern. I feel like this is an impossible fire sign in your family. Uh, it could be another. I'm hearing Leo specifically. Pisces, if you have a Leo uh, family member, spouse, sibling, child, there's something going on with this Leo in your eyes. It was really mentally taxing on them. And it hurt you watching them go through that. I don't know. That's a really specific one. Tell me if that resonates or not. But what's interesting is here you are coming in and being a really good uh, support system for them. You make this person feel very comforted. Okay. So know that. Tell me more. You're helping in this. You're, you, you really do a good job of helping this person move past what has happened a long time ago. I feel like this person really re revisits the past a lot. Uh, potentially even when they're drinking. Oh, keep an eye out on Thanksgiving. This person may get really intoxicated and have like a really emotional overload of their past. This is like a precursor to that, Pisces. Just know if this is a Leo that's going to be getting too intoxicated around Thanksgiving, you are such a great person for this, for, for this family member, whoever it is. I do feel this may even be someone who, uh, I'm feeling... This person has a very youthful energy to them. This person may be a child. Tell me more. Or this person was, uh, there's something about children and this person. Either you and this person connect with another child or you view them as a child. They view you as a child. There's like, I don't know. There's something there with that. You've had a lot of anxiety about whatever is going on with this person, Pisces, or you will be. And and I feel the, the I'm being called to tell you it's self-induced, okay? Uh, and this is, this person is safe. This person is, is going to be just fine. This is maybe just understand you may be the person they feel most comfortable going to, okay? And that is a compliment, all right? So tell me more. What's coming in for Pisces, please? And of course, we just dropped all the cards. There you are, my love. Look at you. Making decisions and choosing you. All right. Queen of Cups, Two of Wands. Really being in your element. It is Scorpio season as well. 
your fellow water sign. So your uh, gifts and abilities will be heightened at this time as well. Come on, more. Come on for Pisces, please. That one popped. What is that? Ace of Cups, but it was in the reverse. But when I put it down, it was in the upright. Okay. So there's something here, uh, Pisces. You are going to get clarity about something that was really, um, at one point in time, a relationship of yours that was in a really good position that you felt has not been in alignment. That is going to turn around, coming in very soon for you. That almost even felt like relationship with yourself, your perception of yourself, your self-confidence, your self-worth. There's going to be a real big boost to that. Whew. Too many. That was like five, eight. I'm not, no, we don't do that many times. That's ridiculous. Actually, you know what? Let's just change decks. I think that was a sign. Tell me, um, let's get one more card from my spirit oracle deck. I love this deck. The artwork is beautiful and the messages are fantastic. And what we'll do is we'll say, if your angel team, your spirit guides uh, could give you one card right now, kind of as a lesson or advice or something to really maybe hone in on as we move forward, this would be the one card that they would pick for you right now at this time. What do we need to know for Pisces, please? What advice can we give them? And we had flame of love. Ooh, Pisces says, allow the infinite power of love within you to radiate unconditionally in all directions, yet stand tall in your sense of self and in your own truth. The healing power of love will help you burn through an illusion and you will discover new possibilities. This is a powerful time of transformation, ideas, and creativity. Okay, so that is beautiful. I love that for you, Pisces. Ah, this is a really nice reading. Um, if you have any other questions, if you want to go deeper on this, if you have questions about a specific person, I do all different types of tarot readings. All the information you need is in the box below. As always, I very, very much appreciate all of your love and support. It's been an honor and uh, I can't wait to do another one for you here soon, Pisces. So in the meantime, if this is where we part ways, all my love, we'll see you soon. Bye.